Derek Shapiro here for the Derek Shapiro Show and uh, my, all my platforms. Uh, I have former state rep and current civil rights leader, Mr. Ray Rickman. How are you doing today? Wow. And you're running for, right now, um, state... Senate. Senate. District. District Three. of Providence. The whole east side. The whole east yeah, side of Providence, Providence. Rhode Island. Yes. Yeah. And... Why did you want to get back into politics? Uh, uh, well, no, first I've of been all, out of politics for how 22 long? years. 22 years. 22. So, so your last state... Well, I have uh, some other people in this race mm -hmm. aren't as old as I've been away from politics. <laughs> so, so what was your last office that you held? State rep. That was state Well, that's not true. I was Deputy Secretary of State okay. uh, in 2002. So after 22 years... And my daughter's going to be 21 this weekend, yeah. or oh, next weekend. Yeah. So what made you get back into politics so, after 22 uh, years? the Providence Public Schools have sure. been going downhill for yes. 21 years or yep. longer. It's awful. Mm -hmm. This is a crime against these 23,000 young people. Crime. They're going to go out in the world, mm -hmm. undereducated or uneducated, quitting in the 8th and ninth grade. Mm -hmm. Small number of them are going to end up incarcerated. If mm -hmm. they had a better education, that wouldn't have happened to them. So you think a lot of the crime, or, or some people that does crime in Providence? No, no, most crime is linked to poverty in some way or form. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to overstate it, because because you're poor doesn't mean you're a criminal. No. But, uh, and, and we have, you know, in the old days, not that far ago, we got mafia people who are millionaires out committing crimes, so we have to be careful about exactly. making it the problem. <laughs> uh, some people just want to do bad things in the world, and some people have emotional problems, mental problems. I'd be here all day talking about where crime comes from. And we need a good educational system that is created to help people advance. And we don't have it. So how can you how can you change that from just for you? So um, the General Assembly, the Senate, the House, does not pay enough attention to our educational needs in public schools. Why? Right. They've had a 20-year back and forth fight about charter schools. Mm -hmm. You know, 3% of kids go to charter school, 90% of the discussion on education is about charter schools. Sure. Should we have charter schools? No, we shouldn't have charter schools. Yes, we should have charter schools. They're the greatest new thing in the world. Even if they were, and 3% of our kids are going to them, and 97% of the kids are not, they shouldn't be that much of the discussion. Mm -hmm. So that's the first problem. The second problem is the state, Governor Raimondo, mm -hmm. took the Providence Public Schools and gave them to the State Department of Education. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a worse job than when the city had them. Mm -hmm. And who would have thought that was possible? Oh, sure. So uh, I uh, recommended to the governor in a letter, she paid no attention to it, she never answered me. I suggested she could get a master mm -hmm. that is hire an individual, mm -hmm. retired school superintendent of Ann Arbor, Michigan, or Cambridge Mass, a really good system, some 65-year-old person, and say, come here and see if you can make these schools better. It's all you have to do. I'm going to put you on the fifth floor of some building uh, sure. and give you a staff of seven or eight people and see what you can do. Sure. That's the big bureaucracy. With, and she didn't do it. Sure. She gave it to the State Department of Education that already has 55 things to do, and this is number 56. I'm just pulling that sure, number out of sure. my hat. And it was a mistake. Yep. Uh, she wanted the state to have control. Mm -hmm. So she was obligated to see that these schools became better, and they did not. Now, I want to be part of the state, being in the state senate. Mm -hmm. I have a legal right to intervene to get the Senate and the House to intervene. And I can tell you 10 things I want to do. We can do them. 
Mm -hmm. And in one year, we will see improvements in that school system. Mm -hmm. And if they continue it, in two or three years, it will go up instead of down. down. And, and, and um, people can go on your, uh, there's a website, right? Yes. Right? So, so um, Stages of Freedom. Oh, Stages of uh, Freedom? So, so oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I, I go to Stages of Freedom every morning for an hour. That's mm -hmm. all I work at Stages of Freedom now. I don't know if you can edit that out. No. But anyway, um, um, <laughs> Ray Rickman, it's electrayrickman.com. Uh, elect Ray Rickman. Rickman. Elect Ray Rickman. Elect Ray Rickman. So, um, and also, of course, they can call you too. They can call. 401. 316-4819. Yep, 316-4819. But let, let, me, let me give you one example. Sure. Because uh, you kind of asked me this, but people ask me all the time more directly. Sure. Either what can one person do or what are you going to do? And I just told you, I have 10 things I think I can do in one year. You ready? Okay. Uh, violence. Violence. Capital. Violence. In the capital city. Now let me ask a question about that because um, um, your district is University Heights, right? No, it's not. Holy Summit. Okay. Everything. Be because because um, there was a young girl that got killed right there. Right, right, right in University there. Heights. That's right. At, what, at, on the only street. What? And I only have um, three, three, less than three but minutes. I was about telling you about violence at school, but I'll answer you. On what could you do just about violence in the streets? Um, that is a complicated big problem, mm. okay? Uh, and we've had this in America since probably the 1820s. Right. So there's nothing new about it. But, but we don't, no, no, no. I, I want to be careful here. No, no, no. But wait, wait, this young the, woman the, the, the is, is innocent, so everybody is concerned, as I am, right, that's that she was murdered. But we have a murder every six weeks in problem. And most of them are gang affiliated and yeah. something related. Criminal so what can the state do for that? No, because this is the same thing what I was trying to tell you before. Right. You get in a bad state and then you go do something bad. What if you were a good kid? What if you were 18 year olds graduated from a really great school? Right. Moses Brown, Wheeler, Lincoln kids don't go out in the street doing violence. Right. Seriously. Right. And if they have some emotional problems, they're wealthy enough to have somebody intervene and help them. Exactly. Okay? So, you know, I, I don't know how to say this. We are not taking care of low-income folks properly. We're not assisting them. We're not intervening for them. So you got to do more for them. Yes. And let me go back to school real quick, since we only have another minute. Yep. Uh, when... All these schools, parochial, private, Catholic, have no violence. And they don't have any violence because you tell them what the rules are. You tell them, if you frown at somebody, that is a prelude to violence. What are you frowning at the person for? Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. you got to go see the principal if I say you <laughs> frowned at me. No, and it's a prelude. Yeah. In public school, you have to break someone's nose before sure. the principal will intervene. Sure. So the intervention needs to come immediately in an environment in which the frowning is going to lead to me offering to, to fight with you on Friday at 3. Sure. If I offer to fight with you, that's grounds to be kicked out of school. Mm -hmm. In Providence, I have to fight with you and hurt you. Exactly. Once I talk to a principal about a young man and say, oh, oh, they didn't break anything. What are you bothering me for? Sure. They terrorized him sure. mentally. Sure. So we can put a stop to that because 90% of kids want to stay in their school. Again, electrayrickman.com.